have their brands removed yeah yeah the stew's awfully smooth look it's the sign we stole so we have the hang man sign okay from quentin and now we have the martha's rest sign from martha What happened in East Puli with the bears and the guardians have been, uh, has been a long time coming, and I'm proud that it could finally happen here in Rosaria. The Duchy of old may be no more, but Archduke Elwin's dream still burns in the hearts of many. And it is though through victories such as these that the, that fire was spread. This is only the beginning, Clive, but a fine beginning it is, Martha. Our people are going to get so lost if we keep stealing all the signs. Yeah, they're going to be like, where the fuck is the inn? But where is the inn? Yeah, because, like, okay, we stole a Quentin sign. Quentin, uh, you know, Lost Swings no more. They're rebuilt. They're making a new home. Martha's inn still exists. We just took the sign off the wall. It hasn't gone anywhere. We just straight up took the sign from the wall and we we're like, yep, this is mine now. The Clive, you can't do that. So we need 4,000 something to master, and then we can switch to Shiva. Also, can I just say, as someone who has worn like a full leather suit and all this kind of stuff, like something very similar to this with like leg padding and all of this. His jumping is very uh, appropriate oh, because you cannot jump in that kind of shit. Ah, Sid. Wasn't expecting you back so soon. So, is it good news or bad? I got your things. Good, thankfully. Yeah. Ah, that's brilliant. Thanks a blimmin' million. I'll fit into the smelter right away. Kyle, kind of please, the Amazon delivery people can't find my home. I need my street back sign back. No. Some time later. Of course, there's a train. I present to you. The Telemon Furnace. In fact, is she? Telemon Furnace. You saved my bacon again, Sid, and I ain't about to let your good deed go unrewarded. It's it's fine, really. My bag's uh, flexible enough already. No more. Oh, don't say that. I'm sure I can make a few improvements to it yet. You could just bag upgrades. How about that clasp? Looks a bit stiff. Reckon you could loosen it up and make some more room. Yes, sir. I reckon I know how. We have a new alloy we've been working on. The Telemon Furnace was just what we needed to perfect it. It's a metal, see? So it's lovely and strong, but it's also, well, stretchy, if you can believe it. Stretchy metal. <laughs> well, if you insist. Let's do it. That is the spirit. You'll love it. Stretchy metal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, what do you reckon? Richie! Actually, quite ingenious. Thank you, Owain. Shh, don't mention it. You earned it. And I wanted to get some practice in using that metal anyway. Reckon we'll have all kinds of uses for it around the hideaway. I can't think of any right now, but that's our job, isn't it? Dreaming up new ways to make life easier around here. Makes sense. Maybe even out there, too. One day, the whole world's going to know about the inventions you've helped us put together. That yes, sir. will be the first of many. You mark my words. They'll hardly believe their eyes, I'm sure. 
Quest complete. Yes. Expanded potion satchel again. Yes, it's been maximized. Now we call eight potions, five high potions, four strength tonics, and four stone skin tonics. With two D's, double D's, dude. Sheesh. He has big brother energy than I realized. Uh, he, he's a big brother. Or the fact that Sid. You need anything? You just ask. Okay, Otto. I was just trying to skip. Dude, we got that double D's achievement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a big brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, with two D's. Upgrade consumable potions and inverse slots to their maximum. Maximum. I suppose you've got quite the tale to tell. Fuck. The double D though. Goodbye, more potions. Oh, don't tell me we've run out of Clive. Yes, ma'am. Go on then. You'll not find a better price. This will that. definitely help in our fight against it the evil. I'll be here. Is that all? Five is a double D. Five's got double D's. I've seen the mouse pad. I've seen the mouse pad. Come back. Jote? Uh, Joshua will be back in no time. Did we have any hunts? I don't think we had any hunts. No, we didn't. Okay, that's what I thought. The proof in the proof is stored right there in my brain too quickly to get <laughs> he gets shy. Okay, we got three more requests. Let's do them. We're going to Buckland first. What's happened? You, Theodore. Ah, uh, Clive. You'll be well, pleased Theodore to talks know that the negotiations put this are shade up before well. uh, it knocks something over. That is good news. It's going around in the wind. Yes. Our comrade in Randala has just sent word that the contract should be signed very soon. But I still have much and more to prepare. It's a huge undertaking moving this many bearers at once. You couldn't do me a quick favor, could you? so bright now oh my god it's so bright my regrets uh yeah of course i'll help what is it this time more wild beasts nothing like that we're down shit. i just need you to go over to the caravans and ask l how long we have until the bearers arrive find out exactly how much faster i need to get all these supplies better moved. better still right. bright but significantly we'll less ask. thanks clive I owe you one. Oh, uh, yeah, I got you. Wh whatever you're asking me for. Yeah, 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 yeah. You talking to his sister? That's what we're doing? Don't blame yourself, El. This is their fault, not yours. I know, but... No buts about it, all right? No buts, only double Ds. Is something wrong? Ronnie came to give no me a buts, only double Ds. Intermediary. The talks with the Republican army have fallen through. They've reached an agreement with the Silver Peak Consortium instead. Though prices have fallen of late, we deliberately offered above the going rate to try and deter other bidders. But the Consortium offered double what we did, and the army jumped at the chance. You had no opportunity to make a counteroffer. None at all. And we were so close. Elle? What's happened? I, I saw Vonnie leaving. She didn't look happy. 
And with good reason. Oh, the thick semi truck is here. Yeah, you hear it in the background. It's set. It sucks because our streaming room is the farthest from the train tracks, but closest but to the main road. The fist was speaking to about the bearers. How did the consortium even find out about this? It's not so surprising. I am plaster. Oh, you're country. talking about Sid. I mean, the five. I mean, both. To sell these bearers eventually, and at the price they paid, buyers will be few and far between. You plaster on their semi truck. Alone. You sure that's wise? Are you offering to be my bodyguard? How kind. Meet me at the checkpoint near the capital gates. I'll send an owl ahead and request a meeting. You go to Cashlock, Theo, and get everything ready. We've waited far too long as it is. Even if I fail to free these bearers, there will be others. Someone needs to prepare the place and keep any prowling beasts at bay. <laughs> oh, that's me, is it? Five oh, semi truck. Looks like I'm following orders till she gets back from from meeting the Silver Peak Consortium, who've been doing their best to undermine our scheme. She'll never join them after this, surely. No, she said it herself. She the gummy semi truck. Castle, even if this one falls through, she means to stay with us. Then I can't say I'm not happy to hear it, but is this what she really wants? You have to trust her. You're right. It's what she wants now. And if Hell's off fighting for the cause, I should do my part too. Yes, sir. So I bid you farewell and safe travels, my friend. I'll gather my men and leave for Cashlock. We'll make sure the place is well stocked and defended. You go to Randala and see if you can stop my sister biting the consortium's heads off. If she won't consider her prospects, someone has to. True. I'll do my best. She hit me, she hit me the edible. Oh, no. The gummy semi truck. To Randalar, then. That's what That's it is. Know. The gummy semi truck. Hey, Clive, skip, skip the way there. What I wouldn't give for a hot meal. Looks like this is the. We just have three side quests left, and we can go back to the main story. Good girl. Let's go, Ambrosia. Go. Brain function just dropped like 30%. I witnessed every second of it. Confirmed. Fuck him up. Fine. We'll leave. What is that? Oh, it's a dragon. Okay. Just a dragon. You! I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Did you arrange to speak with the consortium? Here they are now. Oh, great. You wish to consult with me? I did. It's about the bearers you recently purchased from the Fist. We had all but finished making arrangements to buy them ourselves. And then you stepped into the fray. You misunderstand. The consortium had an interest in purchasing them from the very first. Oh, yeah, bud. For you that kept Here's a few... Bidding. Whiskies at the Your store they had a tasting table. Ooh. You, suggested that the regard was not mutual. Ooh. So we Were they good? I did not hesitate. I am simply not inclined to make such decisions without first giving them due consideration. But what is done is done. Come then. How much do you want for them? Alas, you good, are too good. Late Whiskey's you a good choice. On such unconventional merchandise without a purchaser in mind. The bearers belong to him now. Who is your buyer? Me. A trader from across the water. A most demanding fellow, if it's any consolation. He insisted the bearers be fed, dressed, 
even given their own bunks for the voyage over. Interesting. That's what you get when you deal with continental types. I wouldn't know. Oh yes, the culture on the continent is quite different to ours. They pay good money for bearers not fit for the knacker's yard, and treat them like kings. But as long as they pay... That does sound unusual. No matter then. If they've already left our shores, there's little got that can significantly be done. darker in game. To withdraw my interest. And with it, my interest in joining your organization. My good, good. Be sorry to hear that. They add cloud coverage. No, it's always been that way. But for some reason, all of our things have been outdoors lately. So they've it's been like very dynamic. And also the weather's fucked up because of Ultima. I'm sorry you weren't able to save them. As am I. But I only have myself to blame. Don't blame yourself. I was right, you see. The Silver Peak Consortium did intend to buy those bearers before I did. Their representative hinted at a possible purchase when he came to recruit me. I feigned interest in joining them in the hope he might be encouraged to tell me more. And he did just that. As mm. soon as he left, I sent my own offer to Randall R. So you never... Yes, no. they are. They, they should be I at least. I the consortium's proposal solely so I could learn more about those bearers. But I was also, where are the sky ships in this game? I, I this exactly is a Final Fantasy doing. game. When are we going to be in the you sky? Tried. Just saying. And if what he said was true, the bearers are to be well treated, which is something at least. This would be the first Final Fantasy it's game so that cool. didn't have airships. I wanted so badly to see them freed. Just saying. Eloise, Eloise, word from Cashlock. The village is under attack. A pack you better of get him by the end of the game. The mountains, Just saying. A at its head. Oh. Theo and the others are trying to hold them off as best they can, but the odds are against them. Looks like we're fucking they up a dragon. And fast. Theo. I'll go on ahead. Thank you, Clive. Yes, sir. I'll gather some men and join you there. Just make sure he's safe. Hold on, Theo. I'm coming. Theo's so far away. I'm actually just going to teleport to the cleft and then run around that way. He's so far away. Oh, Ambrosia, are you okay? You started spinning out for a second. Goblin mugger, oh my god. Spinning out, please. Spinning out, just like ashes. Oh, we can actually fly it? Oh, that's so good. To ride from here. That's so good. Hey, who do we fuck up? What are we fucking up? Up river. He led the dragon that way to keep it from the village, but the whole area is flooded with ether. Oh. Just have to pray makes it out in one piece. I can do better than that. Toggle with me. Let's go, pupper. Da, 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 da. No use calling Ambrosia now. Come on. Damn it, Theo. Ambrosia, you're back here. We're, we're on a mission. Ambrosia. Let's go. Yeah. Sir. Funkus! Get out of my way, scorpions! Where we got I a feel? dude, bro, to save. Alright. Over there! It's just a bunch of dogs! A lot of dogs and plants! Oh these my god. These anyway. Oh my god, some survived? 
Over here. Get him. <sighs> That's crazy. Anyway. I can't waste any more time. I need to find Theodore before that dragon does. Dragon? <clears throat> oh, it's an actual dragon. Oh, Looks like it's fuck. Me. This thing's turned as well. I was hoping oh, that this was easy. going to be uh, not a not a normal dragon, but like a smaller yeah. one. Heron siege. Ow, yeah. you dick. Ow, you dick. Okay, you're making me do it. Judgment Volta. Funkus. Let the reason rise. I hate dragons in this game. Nice try. They're all dicks. Attack. They're all dicks. Attack. Fucking die. Uh, Fuck your dragon dance. Uh, kill. The dragon fireball's coming for me. Uh, Can you just stop? Can you can you stop? Ow, he actually hit me. He could get him. You can just stop. Stop being a rowdy boy. Just stop it. You brought this on yourself, dragon. You brought this on yourself, dragon boy. You dragon lightning bolt judgment bolt easy peasy lemon squeezy easy 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 Clive Okay Theo you good though Theo, you had me worried for He's turned isn't he He's turned we have to get you out of here. Bruh. I think it might be a little too late. Dude, Ella's is going to be that. pissed. There are or no, there's only so much ether a man can take. And that Drake just wouldn't let me leave. You have my thanks. Sit for finishing what I could Bruh. for keeping Elle's dream. 
Theodore. Come near here. Don't come near here. He's turned. And so will you. Hey, get the fuck out of here, lady. Come anywhere near here, you're screwed. Is he gonna kill himself? I'm surprised they did they they did this my guy what sometime later Thank you, Clive. I think I'll be all right now. That was true bravery he showed. Leading the dragon away from the village like that. His first instinct was always to protect people. To put others' well-being before his own. And now he's gone. Because I sent him to that place against his will. It wasn't against his will. He was ready to do whatever it took to show you he could stand on his own. So that you would finally be free to live your own life. Rah. To live my own life? He never could come to terms with the choice I made. What exactly happened? He once told yeah, that's, me that's exactly. The game the heard you. The game heard you, Ashes, and that's where they killed him off. We grew up in Canva. We were born to one of the great trading houses. And I was chosen to inherit the family business. I had my father's head for figures, you see. Theo did not. While I studied the art of commerce, he played at soldiers instead. A late bloomer. In more ways than one. For unlike most bearers, it wasn't until his 15th summer that his powers awakened. My parents tried to drive him out of the house and into the care of the constables. But before they could, I took him into mine. Theo told me something else. He clearly admired your devotion to the cause of freeing others like him from slavery. But he said you deserved a better life than this. He wanted to free you from what he called your bonds, just as you freed him from his. I would be lying if I said I had not wondered from time to time how much easier my life might have been if I had allowed Theo to be taken and devoted myself to the family business instead. But I have never regretted the decision I made. Oh. Being Clive. With my meant more to me than tradition or reputation. It's a sad moment. Don't do it, Clive. He's gonna fucking steal their the sign. I would make the same choice again in a heartbeat. He's gonna steal their fucking sign. 
He was never a burden. How could he even think that? No. If anything, I was the one who weighed him down. You Hi, it's a sad moment. Don't take her shit. He said to himself that he had always been grateful to you for saving him. And that he wanted to repay you by letting you live the life you were denied. Neither you nor Theo weighed each other down. You loved one another. You did whatever was necessary to continue living your lives together. And you always would have. You're right. All I ever wanted. All I ever did. It was so we could be together. Oh, Theo. Why did you have to... <laughs> Bruh. I know Theo <clears throat> wanted me to move on, but I'm staying here at the Crimson Caravans to continue our work. We can make a difference here. We can help people, save them. I need nothing more from life than that. So I'll carry on doing what we do, ensuring that goods, people, bearers get where they need to be. Bringing smiles to people's faces, just like we always have. And to Theo's, wherever he is. This is the life I have chosen. The life I will always choose. I've made a choice of my own. To continue helping you however I can. Whenever you need it. Thank you, Clive. Let's go on together then. For Theo. No, don't, Clive. Don't take the sign. He fucking did it. He took the sign. He fucking took another sign. God damn it, Clive. Oh, Dalamil in. I guess we're gonna take the we're gonna take his sign too, I bet. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. So our mail comes in around uh around this time, and I wanted to see if my thing, a package I've been waiting to get, has shown up. Take okay. Uh, Lubor, hi. what do you got for me? To what do I owe the pleasure? I just wanted to see how the town's been faring since you brought everyone together. Uh, since we brought everyone together, all is absolutely wonderful. Conrad and Natalie's hands remain safely away from each other's throats and firmly at the helm. Our stores are full and the bandits still too disorganized to raid them. Just as the good Lady Jane and Lord Underhill intended. Mm -hmm. Are you a lord? Lubor's going to be one too. They're going to make him the Lord of Dalamil because of how he stopped all the grown-ups from fighting. It's the mayor of Dalamil, dear child. And the vote hey. hasn't taken place just yet. I mean, but if the people wish me to lead them, I shall. Congrats to him and if he's able. My first act will be to build a school so that menaces like you two learn not to interrupt your elders. Speaking of menaces, there may be a rather worrying one just over the horizon. Did you say everything was fine? There, indeed. I'm afraid the example Conrad and Natalie set in putting aside their differences in presenting a united front might have caught the bandit's attention. Did you just and say they might have elected to take a similar approach? They have formed what one could call a league of outlaws, and they grow more organized by the day. But we'll fight them all off just like last time, no matter how many of them there are. Won't we, Lubor? Of course we will. If we continue to work together, we can overcome any challenge we choose to face. The longer we avoid facing this one, the more difficult it will be. Until the only way to overcome it might be to run for the hills. Our best hope is to nip these efforts at organization in the bud. By finding those mm -hmm. ne'er-do-wells who have yet to join the cause and ensuring that they never do. Perhaps a certain Lord Underhill 
might be willing to lend us his aid once more? Sure. How could I refuse? <laughs> Thank you, my lord. Victor will fill you in on the particulars. I have him stationed by the desert gate, receiving and collating reports from my scouts. Such an amenable soul. He reminds me of you. I'll go and speak with him. Prioritize quest. What's the difference between a lord and a league of outlaws? That's Mr. Ray. Sounds like we have some competition. Victor. Still in Dalamil, Victor. Hello, Victor. Ah, Sid. I thought you'd have returned to Kostnis by now. I did. Then I came back. I've developed something of a fondness for the place. And having worked so hard to see it saved from one fate, it would seem remiss to abandon it to another. A sentiment Master Lubor certainly isn't shy about exploiting. Hence my doing his bidding yet again. You're not the only one. What does he want you to do? He asked for my aid in putting down the bandits. And he said that you might be able to help me find them. Then you've come at just the right time. I was on my way to speak with Conrad about how to organize our forces. There are more camps in the vicinity than we can safely strike at once. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We must strike together, and we must strike soon at as many camps as we can. We can't give this league of theirs time to rally its forces. All right. Which camp shall I take? There's one upriver. Just out there, across the dunes. Leave it with me. I got you, I got you. Those ne'er dwells want to band together. Let them. There'll be no match for us. Let's go. Run like the wind. Run, run. Dun 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 dun. No, it's definitely gonna be a change of pace when we beat this game and play Final Fantasy V. It'll be a very, very big change of pace. That must be the camp Victor mentioned. Come on, then, Toggle. Oh, hi, Buds. Anyways. Oh my Take gosh, you guys are still alive. Congratulations. Here, have a reward. I can't hit you. Oh, I got him. Okay. I can't hit those guys, though. Oh my god. You want some too? Oh, Bahamut! See ya, suckers! See ya, suckers! Don't try it! Okay, anyway. I know there's a guy curing him, but I don't care. That guy curing him is gonna get a judgment bolt in his butt. You! Judgment bolt! Oh, he's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. Covered in blood. I better let Victor know. Oh, the blood dissipated Sid, already. Where are you? Oh, there's Victor. Unleash the power of a thousand suns in your I face. Hell yeah. Pose you any trouble. Nah, dude. No, but that's not why you're here, is it? No. 
Something's happened. We need you back in Dalimil. What is it? The whole town's in uproar. What happened? They're saying that Lubor is a bearer. What? 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 Seems that one of our parties wasn't as thorough as they should have been. They let one of the bandits escape, and his escape route took him right through Dalimil. Okay. Some of the children spotted him, and he was about to silence them. And when Lubor felled him with a bolt of magic, oh. without a crystal, oh. that's not possible. It is if he's a bearer and has been hiding it all these years, oh. which is what people are saying. If he has, well, I wouldn't blame him. No man is branded by choice. Still, all those people see is a man who's lied to them all his life. One who was made a leader of himself when the world believed he should have been a slave. Yeah, but he's been doing Fuck. such good. I don't know where we go from here, but I know one thing. Lubor needs all the friends he can get right now. Yeah, let's go right. save him. Sometime later, right? No, sometime later? <gasps> Happening now? And now everyone knows. <laughs> I made it a habit to keep a crystal close at hand for just such an occasion. And when that occasion arose, I forgot to reach for it. Oh. Well, it was bound to come out sooner or later. We're sorry, Lubo. We tried to keep running, but we just couldn't anymore. I know. It's nothing to be sorry for. I rather enjoyed playing the hero for once. All that matters to me is that you two are safe. Look at him talking to his betters like it's nothing. Fuck you. All lies are wager. Just like the ones he fed us all these years. So we get to kill them next, right? Once people make up their minds, it's hard to change them. We need to do something. And quickly. Convince the people not to let their prejudices blind them. Convince them that nothing has changed. That their enemy lies outside these walls, not within them. You're right. We should speak to everyone. I'm glad you agree. I'll handle the townsfolk. I'm a downlet born and bred. They listen to me. You head to the tavern. Make Conrad and Natalie remember who Lubor really is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They know that Lubor and I are friends. I might not make for the most impartial of interlocutors. Lord Underhill of Randalar's League of Merchants, however, is a trusted and impartial mediator of note. I'll do what I can. Do my best. Lubor, stay here with the children. I can't promise anything, but we'll try. And that is all I can ask of you. <laughs> Why are you taking the bearer's side? Why do they always have to make such a fuss? You bastards! Forgive me for disturbing you, but could I have a moment of your time? Hmm. I've seen your face before. As have I, Lord Underhill, wasn't it? Of the League of Merchants? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. That's right. I wanted to speak to you about Lubor. The rumors that he's a bearer. All true, I'm afraid. He'll never be mayor now. Not if I have anything to do with it. No, fuck you. What if his wares? Bearer or no, his steel is highly valued throughout the Republic. In this, at least, he's done the town a service. Might that not earn him a little leniency? Leniency? He pretended to be one of us when he was laughing behind our backs all the while. Who said that? I'm sorry, my lord, but he lied to us. He lied to you. He cannot be trusted. You cannot be trusted. So what do you propose? Will you drive him from his home? Close his forge? Perhaps. That is a question for the people of Dalimil. Mm. And they will thank you not to get involved. How could you guys not be dicks? A bunch of racists? The townsfolk have made their minds up. There was nothing I could do. Nor I. Conrad and Natalie refused to consider anything but their own wounded pride. 
You never know. Once their anger is cooled, they might see things differently. For now, we should report back to Lumbor. All right. Why do they always have to make such a fuss? Why the hell would Victor take the bearer's side? For a sham. I assume the situation is hopeless. There's still hope. But... But, perhaps not in this lifetime, I mm -hmm. think it's fair to mm -hmm. say. You mustn't think like that, Lubo. Give them time. They'll come around. No, they won't. We'll talk some sense into them in the end. You'll see. No, you won't. And your efforts would be better spent elsewhere. But Lubo... Rosina would often tell me... ...that steel does not lie. That a blade is a reflection of the smith who forged it. To yourself be true. That was her point. Rather an ironic one when you consider that her life was taken with a blade of her own making. But I do not doubt that she was always true well, to I was thinking about it. She he's, believed in he's thinking about taking a end. sign. And so must I be. Right there I for the easy pickings. To be right, no matter what others might think of me. And now, I know what that is. I must embrace my new role of villain so that the people of Dalamil have something to unite against. For only united can they hope to stand against the threat that awaits them. Makes sense. I'll need to make a suitably dramatic exit, of course. Don't go, Lubo. You're the only one who was ever kind to us. We'll be all alone. Again. Trust me, little ones. It is for the best that I go. Not only for the town, but for you, too. How could it possibly be for the best? These children need you. The least you can do is give the townspeople a chance to change their minds. They would not take it, Victor. It's over. Over, you say? And so just like that, you're going to throw this town and these children to the wolves? Yes. I thought you were better than this. No. But it seems you had me fooled as well. Good. Victor. Victor. Forget it. Do what you will. You sure you're making the right choice, Lubor? Of those available to me, I believe it's the best one. Yes. Ah, but where are my manners? Here. A reward for clearing out that bandit camp. This is so unnecessar unnecessarily dramatic. You're not fucking wrong. If there's anything I can do. Anything. I'll bear it in mind. <laughs> Get it? Because he's a bearer. Level up, level 43. He didn't take the sign. I'm proud of you, Clive. He didn't take the sign. I'm proud of him. He's growing as a person. Tabor, back to Tabor. The last side quest before bank going back to the main story. He'll be out of rehab in no time. Yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah, we'll see about that. You! Lord Rosfield. Cyril! Is there aught the Undying might assist you with this day? Perhaps. My brother said that your order was helping him with his quest to uncover Ultima's origins. Have you learned anything of note since last we spoke? Little unless I regret to report. I see. Be assured, however, that we will not rest until the truth is known. Even now, our archaeologians scour ruins in every corner of the realm for traces of Ultima's touch. Fallen ruins, I take it. Dating back as far as Phoenix Gate. 
Indeed. Ultima's thralls are oft sighted among the remnants of the fallen civilization, as if protecting the secrets concealed within. Secrets we'd see unearthed. Should our methods be of interest, my lord, mayhap it would please you to observe some of our number at work. Would that be possible? Of course. A survey has been conducted not far from here. Perchance you are familiar with Kretov, a small hamlet built around a fallen airship. I was due to visit my colleagues there to collect their preliminary findings, but if you would consent to do so in my stead, I'm sure that they would be honored to relate any discoveries they have made to you directly. Good, good. I know. I'm pretty amazing. All right. I'll go and meet with them. They will be most gratified, I am sure. Might I suggest you take the road through Titan's Wake? It will lead you straight to the village after but a short walk. Thank you. I will. I wish you a safe journey, my lord. May the Firebird's flames burn ever in your heart. Oh my gosh, so far away. To the Gilded Pass, then we have to go to Titan's Wake. Come, Ambrosia. Let's go. We ride. New zone, new zone. Ignoring. Oh, sorry about that. I'm gonna cross out there for a second. Come on, go. God, there's a teleport spot here, too. Sorry, what, what happened? No joke. I like. You deserve a rest. For a split second there, was unconscious. There you go. I dozed off for a split second. I'm good again. I'm good now. I'm good. I'm tired. <laughs> I woke up too early. I woke up at 4 a.m. Why? No idea. Oh, no. When did I go to bed? 2 a.m. You'll pay for this. I'm gonna kill you all. You killed the undying. Which is ironic Based considering their madness. name. You monster frisbees! Where's the rest? Oh, that's it? Okay. I'm gonna really quickly search this area. Aha! Loot! Loot! All mine. I don't know what that is. It looks kind of big.
Oh, let's go fuck it up. Whatever Ooh, that thing is, it's gold. I'd say it's their leader. Hey, no, no readying anything. I shoot you. Fool's gold is its name. How you thought? Just beat the shit out of it. Beat the shit out of it. Hey, it'd be funny if I did this. Die. Ah, fuck. I mistimed it. All yours, Toggle. Laser. Ow. Get him. Ah, you're going the wrong way. Ha. Ah, ha, you were going the wrong way. Take that. Fool's gold. Ha. Huh. Embarrassment gold, more like it. <laughs> Should have stayed in the past. These must be Cyril's colleagues. You have our thanks, stranger. Where'd you come from? Who are you? Ah, forgive me, my lord. I did not recognize you. You are Lord Rosfield, are you not? We are archaeologians tasked with surveying this site. When the echoes appeared, our brothers here occupied their attentions. Thanks to them and to you, we were, for a mercy, able to see our duty to its conclusion. Ah, uh, there's a you duty. Call that a mercy. Your brothers might still be alive if you put their safety before your duty. Surely this survey wasn't worth dying for. We are charged with uncovering Ultima's origins. A duty of the highest import, as I'm sure you will agree. And you think your dead brothers would agree with you too? Probably. I know they would. They gave their lives for the cause, an honor to which all undying aspire. Now, to what do we owe the honor of your presence, Lord Marquis? Cyril told me of your work here. And I agree to collect your findings in his stead. I see. That is most kind. Pray, take them then, with our humble thanks. May the Firebird's flame burn ever in your heart, as it does in ours. Okay. It's one thing to lay down your life for another. But for a survey... <sighs> Yes. I suppose I'd better get this back to Cyril. Okay. Back to Cyril. Cyril, my good man. Uh, your boys died. 